Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we are going to learn how to make an attractive graphic abstract or cover art for your manuscript. So how can you make it? So in this video, I'm going to narrow down some of the steps which can be helpful for you to make a graphic abstract. So I'm just going to write down those steps which are required, which I think are necessary in helping you to make a graphic abstract. So first of all, you need to choose your keywords. So what are the keywords? Keywords are the most important words from your manuscript which define your manuscript or give a highlight or overview to your manuscript. So what you can do is, you can use those keywords and think of the objects which you can use to resemble those keywords from your manuscript. So now, what are the objects? Objects can be anything, it can be either a reactor or it can be either a plant or it can be either a power generator or anything that represents what you are doing in your manuscript. It can be a form of a DNA or genetic string or it can be DNA strand, whatever, uh, depends upon your research area again. So now, what you are going to do, based on your keywords, you are going to make a first draft and you are going to add colors in that draft. So when you are making a first draft, you can make it in black and white colors and then later you can add colors depending upon how much eye attractive or how much eye catching you want it. So once you are adding the colors, you can finalize the picture and add relevant text if required. So let's get started. First of all, this is my sample um, abstract, graphical abstract text which I used for my own manuscript which I published recently in ACS. What you can do is that you can write this uh, graphic abstract and highlight the keywords that you think can represent your manuscript as a whole. So I'm highlighting those keywords in red. I'm just going to use this text as a reference. I'm going to paste in the second slide so that I can keep in mind while I design my own graphic abstract. So what you can do is just focus on the keywords and think what are the objects that you can make. So first of all, I'm going to focus on the hydrothermal liquefaction. With that, what I can do is I can make a reactor. By reactor, I can make by just choosing a small rectangle and drawing it on my white sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this again. I'm going to paste it as a not as a picture but as the same file again so that I can put it inside and show it that this is the inside of the reactor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this reactor as another object and I'm going to paste a, it in the top of the reactor to show that this is the main lid or this is the main cover of the reactor. You can add a fill to this lid but it all depends on how you want it. So now we are just going to leave it as it and we are going to come back to it again. So now let's look what else we can do in this picture. So I'm just going to drag it down a little bit to keep an empty space in the top. I'm going to try to make a uh, something that more resembles like a real experimental paradigm or experimental diagram. So now what I'm doing is I will be making a small rotor or which in other words can be you can say this is a motor that drives a stir inside the reactor. You can make just by using small icons as I showed you in the picture in the in this uh, previous section. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change uh, I will use a light color so that it doesn't uh, doesn't like looks too dark. I'm just using outline right now so that I can color it later on depending upon the other graphics in my diagram. So now I'm just adding this uh, motor or in this on the top of the reactor to show that this is a rotor and it rotates a stirrer inside. So you see simple ideas. You can uh, be simple and you can just uh, think what you can do or what you can to do generically uh, based on the experiment diagram or whatever the process is. Now I'm going to make a thermometer to show the, th the temperature of the reactor. Just an analog. Uh, it, it's just a, like a just to give a perspective to how does the reactor actually looks like or might look like you can make like this now i'm making small lines to show the numbers inside the reactor the temperature degrees so i'm just making this bar and i'm just uh, copying and pasting it and then i'm going to align them on the left hand side by using simple arrange tools in the top go to arrange align and you can use first of all you can align them and then you can align them to the left side which make them equal on all aspects so now what I'm going to, uh, I will be working on the color and then I will be working on the gauge. You can go in the icon set to find the gauge. You can just type gauge in the icon set and then what you can do is just type in the gauge and you can find anything. You can also access to stickers. You can also have some cutout people which you can use if you want for animation or other things. So just go in the icons and type gauge and you will have an option for different gauges. You can use this gauge like this 
and you can put a circle behind it to make it look like a proper gauge and you can reduce the size a little bit send it to the background and then you are all set now just adjust the gauge inside the circle and then place a small cylinder in behind the bottom of this gauge to look like to show that it is connected with the reactor now I'm working on the inside of the reactor which is that I want to show that in my inside my reactor there's a liquid part and there's also a solid part to show that I'm going to use two different gradients so I will use a, a dark blue color which will show that there's water inside and also I will show a dark brown color which will show that this is my solid particles inside I can increase or decrease the size of the small particles inside it all depends on me now I'm just adding a gradient to the back side which will show that the reactor is in a hot temperature and it's around a hot temperature of around 300 degrees Celsius or depending on what the temperature is. So the basic purpose of adding a gradient is to show that the reactor is increasing in temperature. You can use custom gradients by changing the gradient's color whatever you like and also you can also change the color of this gradient by choosing different colors or by different, different patterns available. You can also make your own custom gradients uh, later on I will show you how to do it. Now I'm just adding a, a B level glow to my object to mo look it look like more more realistic picture so that it looks like it's a real picture instead of looking just like an, a simple and dull object. I'm adding a reflection so that it looks like it's a solid particle and also has a solid object and also has a, a background or also has a shadow which looks like it's a more solid uh, object instead of being just look like a simple object or simple shape. So now I'm adding the colors to my uh, diagram and see how it looks like. So one section is done. So this part of my diagram is for the hydrothermal liquefaction which represents that the solid or the feed is being processed inside. Now I'm copying this uh, reactor as an object because I want to reduce the size. I don't want to mess the dimension. So I'm using it as an object so that I can easily change the colors also. I'm going to change a different color for the hydrogen. I'm using this color so that it can represent how the hydrogen can might look like because I'm thinking to uh, give hydrogen a little bit light green color to give a more uh, natural and attractive look that's why I use the green color so that it can appear more brightly instead of looking a little bit dull as in comparison to the uh, reactor which I used for the liquefaction now I'm just using a text file I'm going to add a text to this one might add a gradient to the back cover back background white object now I'm adding this uh, different gradients. Now you can see that I'm telling how you can add a different type of gradient which can be rectangular, which can be path. You can also change the direction of the uh, direction of the uh, gradient, either it's from the middle, either it's from the left side, or either it's from the top side. It all depends upon you. Now my hydrogen reactor is also done and my ACL reactor is also done. What I'm doing is I'm trying to show a connectivity between my hydrothermal uh, reactor and the hydrogen plant. The reason behind is that my project was based on the liquefaction plant and I was using uh, the product from those to make hydrogen by using steam reforming and other processes. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to connect that with the pipeline and I will connect this, these both to show that they have a connectivity between each other and the product from the HDL goes to the H uh, hydrogen section. So now this is a pipe and I'm also adding the same thing. What I did is I just used a format painter to copy the same properties that my HDL reactor had to copy for the hydrogen one. Now this pipeline is done. I'm going to copy this and repeat this step. I'm going simply to rotate it and use this object again as a pipeline for hydrogen going to the industries or whatever uh, to the neighboring industries or factories that you want. I'm using a rotate option. I'm copying this and I'm rotating it in a different direction. I'm rotating in horizontally and vertically based on my application. So now this part is done mostly. The pipes are well connected and I'm going to connect it, this with a uh, hydrogen plant and later on I'm going to connect some buildings to show that this hydrogen is going to the factories or wherever it is needed. So once you make something like this, I made this pipe, I look for the smaller minor mistakes, I try to adjust them. Now go to the icons and search for the buildings. Now when it comes to the buildings, you can just type in building and you will have different options. I'm choosing different, a few options from these to see if some of these adjust for me. Now I'm just going to try and see which one looks good and which one gives a good perspective. So I'm just adding different shapes to look how they look and also I'm changing colors to see if they look better in this shape or not. 
Now I'm just adding shapes, don't worry for this one. You can use these icons from the uh, library, from the PowerPoint library. You can just go to insert and find icons. You can use these icons free of cost and they don't have any copyright issue. Which normally when you are, are making an abstract, the, copy, the manuscript do ask you for copyright issues if you have any copyright. So you must uh, be sure that you are using icons from here and you are using your own custom icons and you don't have any copyright issues with any other author or any other any other uh, any other any other person who has the authority for these icons or any other shape so now i'm just adding text to represent what exactly which section is i'm adding the facility in the hydrogen pipeline and the htl reactor now i'm going to work on the powerhouse because this is a combined power uh, and heating system so i'm going to make a combined uh, powerhouse system in which it shows that there is a central powerhouse system it will work uh, and then it will provide the energy to all the other remaining systems so now I'm just adding a brick looks to make it look like it's a powerhouse. Now I'm just going to connect these icons and the reason why I'm stretching this, I don't recommend to stretch any uh, any shape or any picture, but the reason why I'm stretching it because these are high graphics, uh, high graphic icons and they don't distort too much. So that's why I'm using and I'm extending from uh, one direction. Now I'm using another shape to show to cover the empty space in the front and the top part just to make it look much better and don't look too bad. So now most of the things are done. My powerhouse is done. Now I'm going to work on the, some of the minor details. Now the powerhouse is complete. I'm just making slight adjustments. Now I'm going to add a simple uh, power power icon which will show that there is a power in this system or it shows this is a power generating system. I'm using this icon. I'm going to change its color and going to give an outline and make it outline a little bit bolder so that it can be more prominent uh, over the object behind this. So now this part is done. I'm going to add another text for this one to show that this is the steam house or it's the powerhouse. I'm going to uh, use this text icon to represent this one. I'm going to later replace the text to some other place so that it can be more prominent. I'm going to make some chimneys which will show that there is a smoke coming out from the system. I'm just making slight adjustments uh, don't worry for that nothing too difficult to learn from this one i'm going to add small chimney just again go to insert shape i'm going to find the sp specific icons that i particularly use when i make some diagrams this is a really convenient icon you can just make one copy them and then paste them behind this image you can right click and send them back behind the powerhouse and it will show that this is a part of this building I'm going to add one more on the right hand side so that they can show that they are a little bit you can actually see the complete picture also so now what I'm doing is that I'm just going to work minor details on this chimney so that it looks more good I'm going to add a dark color with a black outline so that it looks a little bit prominent I'm going to give a grayish color I'm going to use format painter I'm going to give a grayish color to the chimneys I'm going to copy these again so to add, give a minor details to the chimneys I'm going to copy the same one for the other ones. So as you can see, the most of the diagram is done. Everything is complete. Uh, this is our uh, main outlook for the uh, graphic abstract. So now we just add small colored buttons, uh, colored shapes, which will show that there is a smoke coming out from the chimneys. I'm going to do the same one for the other three chimneys also. So now most of the diagram is done. I will just work on the small minor details where I want to go. I'm just add connecting lines so that it shows that this part of the uh, reactor is connected to this part. You can just use connecting elbows and you can just connect uh, on one of the icons and then collect, connect on with the, another icon. And then you can just sh change the width of the line and then you can change the color of the line either to red, block and also you can change the pattern of the line to dotted lines or to uh, fixed line. So I'm just including the, increasing the width to see which one looks much better. So now I'm just going to connect the remaining parts of the uh, diagram. Yeah, when I, once they are connected, I'm going to show that the red one shows the uh, hot lines and the gray one shows the power lines. So you can use your own legends or terminology that you want to use. So this is the this is one way you can do. A graphic abstract is mostly complete. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just quickly going to clean up a, it a little bit. So once it's done, I'm going to remove my reference text, which is above the this picture. I'm going to adjust the text where it should be with, so to give it a more proper look and more clear look. So I'm just going to remove this text and bring this diagram in more into a middle so that it looks more better. I'm going to add my main title which will represent what's actually happening in, in this picture. I'm going to use some specific font which is I'm going to show you uh, in a moment. Uh, this specific font is Agent, Agent FB and you can use this one and you can put it on the top and another part of my font is this one. 
what you can do is to make it more good is that you can change colors for the words and you can change different colors depending upon what they are heat for red hydrogen for green and power for gray and for in, put emphasizes on my techno economic analysis board i made it an entirely different color so this is how we do it so this is one diagram and i'm going to add different gradients and uh, show you different variations which you can do for your graphic abstract normally graphic abstract is shown in, in a little bit uh, smaller size so you can uh, make them like this and you can also add small gradients to the background so now i will just add different gradients to show you how it looks like i hope you like this video do like and do leave your comments if you have any queries and see you next time take care allah Hafiz.